Good morning. Today's July 26, and I am reading from Jesus Calling. It's an awesome devotional today. Um, so, without further ado, it says, Relax and let me lead you through this day. I have everything under control, my control. You tend to peer anxiously into the day that is before you, trying to figure out what to do and when. Meanwhile, the phone or the doorbell rings and you have to reshuffle your plans. All that planning ties you up in knots and distracts you from me. Attentiveness to me is not only for your quiet time, but for all your time. As you look to me, I show you what to do now and next. Vast quantities of time and energy are wasted in obsessive planning. When you let me direct your steps, you are free to enjoy me and to find what I have prepared for you this day. The three scriptures it gives are, are Psalm 32.8, Psalm 119.35, and Psalm 143.8. And I find it appropriate that the direction you get is to listen to the words of King David. Uh, that is, he's an awesome man and he has a heart after the Lord's heart and I used to pray to give me a heart like David that I may seek the Lord's will um, in all that I do a friend of mine told me one time if you ever want to hear God laugh tell him what you have planned right so sometimes we get to be control freaks and we need to do this and have to do this and this has to be done by this time or else well, I don't know what we think or else, you know, the world's going to end. <laughs> uh, but that's obsessive. And, and when we do that, we fall victim of failing to exceed our own expectations. When we take a step back and reevaluate our situation and do things in God's timing and do things for the Lord, we find that we rarely have time restraints. So if we say, I'm going to go throughout the day and I am going to pray with somebody, I'm going to high five somebody, spread some joy, whatever. There's no time. You're not going to be like, well, I got to high five somebody by 10 o'clock this morning. Otherwise, my day is not going as planned, right? No. Or I got to pray with somebody by noon because otherwise my afternoon will be shot. No, because those things of heaven are not on a time restraint. See, time is for mortality, and heaven and the Lord are eternal. Um, we cannot fully comprehend eternity, so we like to put time restraints on things and plan. And, and don't get me wrong, I'm not saying don't be effective with your time management skills, by all means have a plan but don't fall victim of making your plan your idol and putting that plan before everything because God then family and then all else falls in and if you don't get it in that order you fall victim of chaos and lack of his presence so I pray that you seek him diligently today that you take a little bit of your time and devote it to him even if it's just taking a breath of fresh air and thanking him for the birds in the sky have a good day